Hello everybody! This is where we left off the last time. This is the second episode of my Phoenix Point Blood and Titanium DLC playthrough. I'm the Lord of Luck, please sit back and relax and enjoy this video. So we've uh, defended successfully this Disciples of Anu Heaven and uh, done our first two missions and I've had a chance to check out the patch notes that come with the content patch that was released at the same time as the Phoenix Point Blood and Titanium DLC. And there are two major changes that I would like to address before we go on. The first change is that we have now a different skill point system. When leveling up, the soldiers get only 20 skill points instead of 50 beforehand. Now you might be wondering, our heavy He's got one additional level, he's level 2. Why do we have 40 skill points? We also get an additional 10 skill points for every mission the soldier finishes. Now, I guess this is going to be successful missions. I haven't looked at it that closely. I guess you can't go into a mission, evacuate immediately and get 10 skill points for that. Anyway, this means uh, basically two things. First, it means that you can't use training facilities that efficiently as before and because even if you get your seven levels by a training facility you only have 140 skill points to go with that and that's not a lot you have to do missions with your soldiers to get them experience to get them up to speed it also means and uh, that goes with the second thing the second major change we have to skill a little bit differently than beforehand, I guess. I'm not actually 100% sure about that, I haven't done a lot of research about that, but I'll try to explain. We now have different weapon stats. We have um, basically what they did, they put a lot more shredding effects into each weapon. Now, in my opinion, that's a good thing. But still, the go-to guy for shredding any armor would for me be the Berserker class from the Disciples of Anu skill tree. Um, that's why I'm still going to put a lot of effort in uh, getting the Berserker class going as quickly as possible so that yeah, we can basically shred a lot of armor. That being said, let's check out what our soldiers have done so far so we have uh, four class uh, four level two soldiers one level one soldier let's have a look at how we can train them so for a heavy guy we could basically give him the strongman peak the strongman perk excuse me um, which means we have 30 percent additional heavy damage but 10 less perception or we could give him a little more willpower, a little more strength to go with, well, that's always nice. Later on he's gonna get a mounted weapon anyway. Um, for now let's do that, because the 30% additional damage, that doesn't help really that early in the game. So, two more strengths, and two more willpower and we'll see how that keeps us going. Later on is he's gonna get Warcry of course, Boom Blast and the Rage Burst. I'm not really sure about the Inspire and I'm not really sure how to cross-class him yet. We'll take a look at that later on. So, our Sniper. I love the Extreme Focus. Overwatch reduced by one action point that basically gives you a free Overwatch at least with a handgun at every single turn. We don't need a heavy weapons perk with that. Um, what we might need is lots of willpower and a little bit of speed. Actually, let's put that in all willpower for now so that we are at zero skill points. Then our level one, yeah, quarterback, 20 skill points. Not quite sure about that. Actually, Let's already give her some more willpower. And then we'll look at that later. Bave C Jack. So this is a nice class because he is the close quarter specialist. 
So 20% additional damage with shotguns. That's going to be a very nice perk later on. We've got, we're going to take that and cross-class him with a berserk, I guess. Because if you, if you combine this with the shotgun damage, with the rapid clearance and the dash, you, you're going to have a, a very, very nice, uh, nice going soldier. For now, let's take the dash perk. We don't need that now. We don't have any shotguns, we don't have any melee weapons, and we want to get our soldiers up to speed as quickly as possible. What do the souls need? They need a lot of willpower. And actually, speed is not that important right now. We have the dash. Uh, anyway, let's put one speed in there too. And our last one, Acid Man. So later on, we might get the viral damage, we get the healer. The dash is very important also for a healer, I like that. And otherwise, I don't really know what to make of him yet. But willpower is still a good thing to have. So, that's our soldiers for now. They have got all got some stamina left. So, uh, let's keep exploring the world. Oh, that's a bit fast for me. Now the disciples of a new heaven. Haven. Why do I keep saying heaven? Probably they think they're in heaven down there. They're weird guys. Haven Recruitment Protocols. We have created a set of biometric and psych evaluation tests in order to identify potential recruits. We need to locate havens with leaders favorable to our course, but any resources they want in order to secure our recruitment choices. It will probably be cheaper and easier for us to get recruits from havens with higher populations. Lovely. Recruiting is vital to it in order to achieve victory. Yeah, that's tutorial again. There we go. So, new research available. Haven trade protocols. Also important. And let's put the disciples of Ainu behind that. Firewall autopsy. Yeah, that's not really interesting for me right now. Um, let's have a look at our base for a second. I didn't uh, do that quite closely right yet. We have our medical bay, we have our living quarters. We've got some resources to spare this second. So what I'd actually like would be a training facility, even if it's not as strong as before. One energy... How much energy are we using here? Eleven out of twenty. Okay, so... Let's get a training facility going and even more important, I guess, is another research lab. But I cannot build that because I spent my money on a training facility. Yeah, right, that's, uh, that's what I thought. Perfect. Okay, never mind that for now. We'll get some resources very soon. Actually, let's have a look. Ah, anyway. Hold up, exploration sites. Our operatives have set down outside an abandoned supermarket. There might be supplies here that we can use. Search the site, of course. 30 food. That's uh, just about nothing, but anyway. Uh, what I wanted to look into was, do we have any recruits anywhere? Not yet. Alright then, let's keep going. Another haven. Research center. Okay, so in case I ever get on the wrong side of those guys, here's where I get my Arno researches. 
How are we doing yet? 12%. Mutation technology, uh, that makes sense. Neurotoxin, neuroimplant, standard stuff there. A scavenging site, low threat level in the night. Let's go, my fellows. Let's go kick some ass and get some resources here. Right, so what do we have? One of our standard maps. I didn't see a lot of resources. Food over there. Okay, a lot of resources down here. So... This is the point where we need to get our sniper. Ready for action! Well... What did I say? I want to do... Quick saves. Never forget yes. about those. So no let's way. start by getting a view. Ah, there we go. Enemies put it over here. Oh, all right then. Channel open. Guess I can already hit him with my sniper from here. That's nice. That's nice. Standing by. Can I also give him something with the assault I have here? Well, yeah, right from here. I'm not sure if that's going to be necessary, but we'll take keep that in mind for now. I really want a closer look on those resources over there, just to be sure nobody destroys those before I can get a hand on them. Okay, so I guess there might be more enemies around here, so what I'm gonna do is drop my heavy up there so that we can see everything in that area nothing of course not alright then he's got a machine gun by his side but shouldn't be a problem if I get him completely disabled. Alright. That was nothing. Yeah, that's not good. Let's have a look at what how much damage we can do. Be right there. You get into cover there. Well, let's see how much damage we can do from here. Not gonna be a shit, he's got a large arm also. 
Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Here. Moving. That also wasn't a lot of help. But luckily we should now be able to finish him. I'm just not sure how to do that. Without getting caught in his overwatch. But I think let's see if our heavy should is able to do that. Oh yeah. Overwatch. Nicely done. Ten damage I can live with that. You've got to be kidding me. And the launch arm's still there. On my way. Confirming target. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Nice shot. Very well done, my dear Lees. Let's have a look in the chest also. Since we've got the time. Shotgun magazine, handgun magazine. Okay, we'll get that later. Next point is gonna be to get our sniper up and running. Making haste. And we still want to Ready for action. get a look at these resources over there. Nevertheless, I'm on the move. Well, let's see. I'm on the move. Enemy spotted, there we go. Thought that might happen. Ay, 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 ay. That's not a good thing. He's destroying my food. That's a triton over there. Okay. So this might also be Triton, he did some close combat damage against the food that was there. We've got one over here, he tried some close combat damage against those materials. And this is our standard Arthron. Launcher arm, machine gun. Oh well. Sorry for that, guys. Delivery boy was at the door. Some package for my neighbors. So I had to go open. But we did our next quick save. And what was I gonna do? I was going to get my sniper up here and see if we can still shoot with this uh, sniper gun, actually. Of course not. So we've got a handgun at least. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I hit at this point. Uncontrollable anyway. Still. Let's put an overwatch on this area. What next? What next? Alright, we wanna do. This year, so we've got a triton. 
Bloodsucking arm. Pain chameleon. So we he gets he's gotta get close to do damage. And he's also gonna hide. I can't get a lot of his torso right now. Might wanna put some damage in his leg, actually. Like disabled, lovely. And he's leaving. Let's hide in here. What next? We need this Arthron kill. This might be an explosive barrel, right? It might be. Doesn't mean it is. It might be. Um Moving now. Well. I know these things are explosive, they say gas on them. I don't know about this barrel. Ready but if it is, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of a... Yeah, that was explosive. We weren't able to see it, but it did a lot of damage. That's good. The launcher arm is gone, he's only got his machine gun left. Can you still move out of sight? No. Can give a last shot on the Arthron from here. All I need is a clear shot. Let's put that. Well, I can't get the machine gun from here. Let's put that also in his leg. Yeah. Figured there wasn't a lot of damage he can do at this distance with no accuracy at all. Um, I think we don't have a launch arm against us anymore. So, I can put my heavy guy in the front line, and I got two guys closely together without putting them in immediate danger. Yeah, there's our Triton, as briefed. Okay, he's standing there. And he's gonna give us a taste of his machine gun. 30 damage, a little damage to our, to our assault rifle. There's another Triton back there. So we got three now. And that one's gonna attack the materials on my guy. He attacks my guy. Ooh, 60 damage. That's not nice. That is not very nice. Let's see. Oh, okay, I can kill him with one shot. That's good. All I need is a clear shot. Don't need a shot on this Arthron. I'll look at that later. So I still got a shot with him or That's another so nice action. Cannot get a shot from here at anything. That's unfortunate. Well, all right then. Guess this is gonna be an Overwatch round for our sniper. Let's give him white birth to cover. And we'll see what he does at the beginning of next round. What did I forget? I forgot our quick save, of course. This is running quite smoothly up until now, so I hope we're not gonna need it. Where can I get a good shot? I don't actually need a good shot, I think. 37 hit points. Let's right take a there. bad shot. Oh. 
And he's bleeding with 10... 7 hit points to go. Yeah, he's dead. Good, good. And we can try and get heavy damage in here. Oh boy, he's really gonna survive that, right? But with 10 bleeding, that's 10 bleeding, 10 bleeding. Okay. So he's gonna have a little bit of health left. But he's dazed. That's a nice thing. Of course he stays, yeah. So he only has one action point the next round. Very nice, very nice. And what else? So we've got our last triton down here. This one is not important right now for the next round. This one's dead. Uh, what can we do? I think we're gonna do some overwatching to hope that he runs right into a line of fire. Covering. On my way. Yeah, you can still go there, but there's a dead Arthron. And there's one overwatch and a second overwatch. Oh, he's still alive. Come on. Uh, where's our Elise? Uh, I really wanted her to level up, but she's leveling up anyway. Pretty sure about that. I don't want to hit the material, so I'm not gonna do this the very stupid way with my heavy. Gonna go here. Finish him off. And that should be the mission. That looks good. So, this was our second scavenging mission. We've lost one bowl of food. We've got three level ups in there. Here you see the new system, so skill points plus ten. I guess I could have seen it in the last video, but I didn't take that close a look at those statistics. I'm sorry for that. Also, the skill points for the pool are very low, I think three skill points, that's not a lot. Anyway, so three level ups and uh, meet you back on the Gearscape. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, 400 materials, 100 food, no tech. We got our two handgun magazines and the shotgun magazine, we saw that earlier. But what we really wanted was some tech to get a second research lab. Um, well, we have the Haven Trade Protocols coming right up after this. We'll talk about that later. And then we'll get our tech and then we'll get our research lab. We've got some soldiers to promote again. So let's have a look. Our sniper. The quick aim. That's a very essential skill. Staying in position, we can get two shots in one round. I actually love that. And what else are we going to do? Well, essentially we want to get him in position quickly, so I guess some sp additional speed won't hurt either. Then, Lise, you've got your first level up. Gonna give her the dash ability. Oh, sorry for that. I don't want that yet. And uh, some willpower. And what else are we gonna do here? Let's actually give her some strength. No, let's give her some speed. There we go. And our first level three assault. You know what that means. Way to get our return fire ability. And yeah, we got a healer, but is this worth 10 additional Phoenix point? 
I don't think so. So I'm not going to take this ability right now, uh, but keep it until the next turn. We still have everybody fully equipped. Yeah, lovely. All right. So we we'll keep going with our base save after returning to the Geoscape, and then. Let's go on exploring. That's actually... there's a cluster of points up here. Let's start with that. I'll go in closer to the fog later on. Actually, it might be worthwhile going there relatively early to avoid having a lot of, uh, of fog there already. If there's a scavenging site, it's basically lost if it's in the fog. Well, until late in the game. Factory zones. Okay. You might be wondering why I'm not going healing right now, but I think I can still manage with these soldiers anything that the game throws at me this early in the game. Research completed the Phoenix Archives. After recovering the base and analyzing the data banks that have been left functional, it is clear that Phoenix Point is now the only operating Phoenix base. There may be other bases out there, but we will need to find them and bring them back online. There is no sign of Randall Symes the third, but he has left something potentially potentially useful for us. Randall Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he had been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him, and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Randall Symes III's notes indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by the Symes family, used as a place of meditation and research. Don't we all want one of those? It may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. So, the Symes retreat we should send our operatives to investigate. Of course we should. Where is that? That's not far. Nice. Okay. Research, we're up to the Haven Trade Protocols. The Oniric Delirium Index. Yeah, we're gonna need that later on. So let's keep exploring. Exploration site. Our operatives have discovered an abandoned Phoenix Project microfiche archive. The building is almost entirely overgrown with pulsating yellow vines that are oddly reminiscent of long headless moray eels. Trying to enter may result in injuries. Yeah, well. Most of the microfiches are part of an active of an archive documenting unsolved mysteries created on the orders of administrator Irina Semyonova. Semyonova was forced to quit a job after an intense conflict with the KGB in 1968 and the archive was never completed. The site languished until it was shut down by administrator Fred Halleck in 1991. The mysterious documented here may well represent older, isolated outbreaks of the Pandora virus and as such are invaluable to our scientists. And we've got our attack and we've got a lot of damage. Okay, so yeah, I recover my guys at the base, but before we do that, we start building a research lab. Okay guys. Haven Trade Protocols, we have established a series of diplomatic protocols for trading with havens. While many settlements may have needs that we could meet, the sad truth is that in today's atmosphere of fear and paranoia, 
We will have to establish good relations with the Haven's leadership and show that we are not potential swindlers or raiders before they will consider engaging in trade with us. So now we can trade with those guys. Isn't that a happy coincidence? And we can recruit from them also. We don't have anything to recruit yet. Lovely anyway. So let's go back to base. Recover our soldiers. Um. Okay. Like to initialize another scan already. For that, I only need our ship. I don't need any soldiers for that. And when he comes back. Our soldiers should be healed. The Disciples of Anu are a syncretic religion formed out of several previous cults. The Children of the Black Tide, the Holy Disciples of the Sinoglossic Doctrine and the Order of Anu by the Messianic figure known only as the Exalted. She forged the disparate elements of the cults into a unified belief system built around her visions of Anu, the Dead God dead with a capital letter. How mysterious. The disciples of a new leadership follow the strict hierarchy and access to the exalted is reserved only for the most faithful. Should we seek out an alliance with her, we would first have to gain the approval of her servants, the apostle or to the ones born, the keeper of the threshold, the voiceless hierophant, the blind legate, the shadowed hierarch and finally the synod of yearning. The latter said to be a compound being of some kind effectively runs the day-to-day -day operations of the Disciples. 200 bonus food, that's always good. The Disciples of Anu were a mystery. Where others saw devastation, they saw hope. Where others saw the end of the world, they saw a new beginning. Their leader called herself the Exalted, and she claimed to believe in humanity. She preached that the human soul was perfect, that the root of our problems was our insufficient evolution. The Pandora virus was a threat, but it was also an opportunity to change ourselves, to become better humans, to mutate. We knew that humanity needed to adapt. There was no other way to survive. The disciples offered a solution, but what was their end game? There was something beyond their hierarchies and their rituals. The Exalted had a secret. All right. The Exalted had a secret. Well, thank you. So, let's get our soldiers back on board. Just waiting for Ivan, the acid man, to be healed and then, well, then we can maybe have a look at the science retreat. I still think there should be an auto-pause function for that. Base save 2. Well, let's go. Our operatives have reached Randolph Symes III's private retreat, where we may be able to find additional information that may help us decipher his notes and make sense of his activities. However, our scans indicate an presence in the area. Wow, that's a surprise, ain't it? Well, got everybody around, let's go. So we can already see three enemies. This is where we have to go. Arthron, Triton and another Arthron. What do we have? Okay, machine gun and shield. Ooh. 
shotgun triton. We've got to take care of that guy. And also machine gun and shield Arthron. Okay, and where are our folks? One, two, three, four, five, they're all right here. So we've got no launcher arm against us right now. And we've got to get up here. This is a very strange building design. I mean, you have to go via the outside to reach this room. Who would build a building like that? What does he do if it rains? It seems like this is not the desert, right? There seems to be some rain around here sometimes. Uh, well, anyway. Let's see what we can do here. Salt number one. Ready to fire. Don't think we're gonna fire on them. That's not a good idea. Let's get into Overwatch like this. I got this covered. Yes. Ah, oh boy. I really want to see if there we can do a jump from here. Nope. Okay, could have guessed at that. Anyway, put him here. Receiving loud and clear. Sniper is the first one going up to the roof. Comes online. Uh, this also looks like some cover here. I'm on the move. Gotta be quick. I'm not sure actually if I have to evacuate them later on. And I also want to get some experience points. That's why I'm not like you could dash and assault all the way up there, I guess, but uh, not right now the idea of the game here. Okay, he's not going to be able to shoot from there, right? No, he's doing his pain chameleon thing. That's annoying, but I can live with that. He's not going to shoot. He's not going to shoot. Okay, perfect. Moving to position. So let's give our sniper a chance. Actually, I don't think I'm going to aim for the head or anything vital. I'm going to go for the carapace here. I'll get a second shot with my assault, and then there shouldn't be a lot more trouble from this Arthron down here. Let's see, Carapace disabled, that's what we wanted. And give him some more shots, and he's down.
Okay, we can already reach the destination. That's a jump you can do? Okay. Can space out there. Acquiring target. Oh wait. Oh I should have had a look at that earlier. Well, if we throw a grenade down there, he's gonna be bleeding an additional bit, he's gonna lose a limb or two. Let's put it on the right hand side here, Let's see what this does. Yeah, 50 bleed. He's done for. And then we still got a shot for this Arthron. How much of him can we see actually? Shields. Uh, let's see. Shields on his right hand side. So we should be able to get some hits into him. I'll aim for the head. Let's see what that does. Does a good bit of damage, okay. And let's see what happens if we reach this destination of this mission. No, still want to complete the objective. There's an Arthron with a shield down there, okay. He's going on overwatch. Bad mistake, dude. Bad mistake. Engaging. So I know this is stupid, but I think it might get me some experience points if I try to hit him. Okay. Yeah, nobody cares. He's... oh, he's returning fire. Okay, I should think about that a second time. I can Heading get out. a sniper bullet in there. No, fuck, he's on Overwatch. That was stupid. 30 damage, minus 3 armor, infected by virus. Yeah, they've got viral machines gun machine guns now. Lovely. So, that's a lot of will point damage over some time. But, not immediately. Nobody. You can go die. Thanks. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Secure science retreat. Okay, so we gotta kill everybody else in this area. Well, as far as we know, there's one Arthron down here. He could come up the stairs. He could do something else. I don't know about that yet. On my way. Can we overwatch the stairs? No, not from here. Repositioning. I've got nobody on ground level. Then I don't need to pull any risks here. I see them. Okay, one more enemy spotted. Where is that? Down there. Honestly, they can come to me. Nevertheless, what we can do is get a shot in from here. He's probably not on Overwatch, but he's got his shield deployed. Well, still. This is one of the nicest things of Phoenix Point. I like that very much. I can now go here. Get some shots in, do some damage, and go back and be out of sight. He can't do anything to me. 
I'm going. And with you, what do we do here? Well, I'm on the let's move. get you up there too. That's why height is a great advantage here. Yeah, he's coming up the stairs. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to see. Come up here, Arthron. So he's got his shield deployed. Now he's on Overwatch. Okay. Heading out. Okay, can't see anything yet. To position. Machine gun and shield and the poison spitter head actually. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Get an overwatch in there. Got you covered. Channel open. Get him a little over here. Another overwatch. So what I can't actually see is where does his overwatch cone go and where does it not. Basically, if I go here I have to think that he can kill me. If I go here, maybe also. So what do we do about that? Let me try it this way. We go here. And from here we have a shot. And he's not returning fire, so get some damage in. And get back. So now we know here's there's no overwatch over here. So I can do the same with him again. On my way. Confirming target. And one more down. Repositioning. Yeah, sniper. What do you do with him? I think that's gonna be also a nice little overwatch. Just in case this Arthron rolls out, I guess he'll be dead quite quickly. There we go. One. Okay. I only had to count to one. That did not exceed my mental abilities. One injured, one level up. Oh, our level up is uh, on one of our souls. Not on our heavy, sadly. Anyway, so we've obtained Symes' journal, secured his retreat, and that means we've got one of the story missions, missions straight. Thanks. Our operatives have retrieved a big batch of documents from the Symes retreat. These should allow us to better understand what Symes was doing and what he discovered. Analyze the documents. We have identified three key sites that Symes singled out as particularly relevant to his research into the history of the Phoenix Project and previous outbreaks of unusual diseases. It is imperative that we send operatives to investigate these sites as soon as the strategic situation allows. One on attack, 300 materials, that will come in handy, at least attack. And we have those three missions, Rise by Sin by Virtue Fall, Frozen and Prisoner of the Ice. 
As the world fell apart around us, it was difficult not to feel guilty. Some chose to be proactive and fight, but not me. I came here instead. My best weapon is my mind, and I need silence to put it to work. The history of the Phoenix Project is a complex tapestry. In Russia, Turkey, Britain, Spain, not one unbroken lineage, but a tangle of organizations, each passing the torch to the next with only one goal, to protect the human race. But protect it from what? Did they know about the Pandora virus, and if so, how? The answers are out there. So much has been investigated and collected and analyzed, but it's all scattered, lost. I don't know if it's possible to track it all down, but I have to try. There's only one thing I'm sure of. I can't stay here anymore. So, we're another two missions into the game. We've got another soldier to promote. And uh, we've got three more missions, four more missions if I look at that correctly. Find Phoenix Base, South America. We are in South America, so we've got another Phoenix Base around. Either just down there or somewhere up here. We'll see. One of the soldiers is slightly injured. That's not going to be a big problem for the next mission, so I guess I'll go straight into a new mission after this. No new research right now. We'll look into that next time. So, thank you all for watching. And remember people, that you are all subject to luck.